with Pink Power today as we mark Breast Cancer Awareness Month. One in eight women in the U.S. will develop the disease during her lifetime. Our good friend Joan London is a survivor and the author of Had I Known. Joan, good morning. Good morning, Hoda. You know, 40% of American women have what is called dense breast tissue, and it puts you at a greater risk of getting cancer. But surprisingly, millions of women don't know if they have it or what tests should be done if they do. Ever since I battled breast cancer and found out I had dense breast tissue, which can mask a tumor, I make sure my friends, like Elise, who also have dense breasts, get thoroughly checked. Did they ever tell you anything about breast density? No, never. It wasn't until about two or three years ago that I even started hearing the term dense breast, and believe it or not, it was from you. And sure enough, you come to find that you do have very dense breasts. Now, why wouldn't your doctor tell you that? I guess that's a $64,000 question, isn't it? Hi, how are you? A question that demands an answer. I recently attended an FDA public hearing in Washington, D.C. to request that when women across the country receive their mammogram results, they should also be told if they have dense breasts. If I had a clean mammogram in 2014 and then I had an ultrasound and found out I had cancer. And what about all the other women out there who have mammograms and never hear the results that they have very dense tissue and might need another test? This could save their lives. Had I known earlier that this kind of life-saving information wasn't being passed on to me and to other women, I would have been here knocking at your door a long time ago. I'll keep knocking, because for women with very dense breasts, getting additional tests is critical. This is what fatty breast tissue looks like that can detect a tumor. But dense breast tissue appears white, and so does the tumor. It's like looking for a snowball in a snowstorm. That's why I'm going to take you over mm -hmm. to the radiology lab where they found my tumor. And you'll get your mammogram. And in your case now, we're also going to make sure that you get an ultrasound. So let's go, let's go. While a mammogram is considered the gold standard when it comes to screening for a tumor, for some women like Elise, it may not be the perfect test. Good, breathe. What are the limitations of a mammogram? Mammography is limited by something called the density of your breasts. The more white tissue you have, the more difficult it is to spot small tumors which show up as white spots. Okay, so is this me? You could see that you have a lot of this white tissue on your mammogram, which is what we call dense breast tissue. Like many women, each year Elise gets a report that states her mammogram is normal. Millions of women in this country who get what we have come to term as the happy gram. From what we could see, there are no changes and you don't have cancer. I get it every year. And usually you just read that first line, right? Mm -hmm. And then it goes into the wastebasket. And you think, whew. It also states she has dense breasts, but all doctors are not required to flag that information or suggest more tests. Elise lives in New York. It's one of over 25 states that has passed dense breast notification laws that require some level of information in the mammogram about breast density and its risks. Do women really need to be their own advocate and say, hey doc, that test I got, do I have dense breasts? I think women definitely need to be their own advocate. We need to have that national law so that all women have uh, this information at hand. In a statement to NBC News, the FDA is proposing amendments to the Mammography Quality Standards Act, final regulations that are expected to address breast density reporting. And so for people like me and like my friend Elise, what are your alternatives? In those women who have the dense breasts, other exams that can be performed would include a whole breast ultrasound, which is a screening exam, or MRI. Ultrasounds are not always covered by insurance, but they are painless and for Elise, provide peace of mind. Hi. Oh, you're all done. All finished. All right, tell me everything's good. Everything's perfect. We've known each other for 30 yes. years and we got 30 more because we know what we're doing. Very much a relief. All right, kiddo. It is important for women to understand the results of their mammograms and know their breast density, just like we know our blood pressure and our cholesterol levels. So talk to your doctor about whether you might need additional screenings. Whether it's covered by insurance, that'll really depend on your coverage and unfortunately still 
by where you live. Yeah, so you really do have to be your own best advocate. Absolutely. That's the rule of thumb. Joan, I'm glad you're, you're looking good. You're feeling good? I'm feeling great. Thank you. We Thank love you. that you're here. All right. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.